Pluto, once known as the ninth planet in our solar system, was founded by Clyde Tombow in 1930. But back then, our knowledge of planets was limited due to the technology. Is Pluto really a planet? Let's give you an example to compare. Hi there. Hey, um, I'm looking for the duck dog. Are you? Okay, well, I can give you a tour if you'd like. Yeah, that'll be perfect. Thank All you. right, let me show you around. Here's our first dog, Mercury. He's our closest. This is Venus, our second closest dog. Very similar in size to Earth. Here's our home dog, Earth. Here's the dog after Earth, Mars. Our fifth dog here, Jupiter is the largest. After Jupiter, we have Saturn. Our seventh dog is Uranus. He spins on his side. And here's Neptune. Our next dogs are a little bit of a walk. Okay. Here's our final dog, Pluto. Is that a dog? Of course it's a dog. It has four legs, it's got a tail and fur. We always call it a dog, so that's the way we're going to keep it. But it's so much smaller than the other dogs. Dogs come in all different kinds of sizes. And does size really matter? If you're going to count this as a dog, then are all of these dogs too? Of course they are. Look at them. They have pretty much the exact same, almost the same sort of kind of characteristics. is acting pretty crazy. Is that normal? Since it's so small, it's pretty expected for it to be this chaotic, though. These are not dogs. This is a different type of animal. So let's call them, let's call them cats. You know what? I think you're right. <laughs> cats! It has a nice ring to it. With modern observational technologies, it can be seen that Pluto clearly does not fit the same criteria as the other more established planets. Before Pluto was discovered, we knew the solar system as four inner rocky planets and four outer gaseous planets, and that was it. With more advanced telescopes, we can see past Neptune into a whole new field of objects known as the Kuiper Belt. In 2006, NASA launched the New Horizons mission, which is a space probe that will give us a better understanding of what Pluto actually looks like. After studying Pluto closely, we discovered a large object orbiting around it. This was Charon, Pluto's massive moon. Both of these objects orbit around a common midpoint. Pluto is almost the same size of our own moon, and when comparing Pluto and Charon, they both fill up the continental U.S. Finally, in 2006, the International Astronomical Union announced the official definition of a planet. So, for an object to be classified as a planet, it must meet these three requirements. It must orbit the sun, which Pluto follows, but in its own unique way. Secondly, it must be round in shape, which Pluto is as well. Last and most important, an object must clear its orbital path, meaning it launches or absorbs everything it runs into. After miserably failing in this final criterion, Pluto and its other Kuiper Belt neighbors were demoted into a new subcategory known as dwarf planets. Even though we might not call Pluto a planet anymore, we will always remember it as the king of the dwarf planets.